Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So in today's video, we're gonna have a look at how we can convert CSV files and CSV data into XLSX format, so an Excel spreadsheet. Um, I've got trigger action here, manual flow, super simple scenario. Uh, I'm gonna pass in some CSV data, and I'm also gonna pass in a CSV file. Now, just for clarity, for the demonstration, the data I'm gonna use is exactly the same, because really what we're focusing on is the difference between CSV data and an actual CSV file. So here's an example. Here you can see that is just text data in Notepad, and I've also got a CSV file opened in Notepad, because effectively CSV is just comma-separated values in text format. So you can see there's a file, and there's just some text data. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pass it into my flow, and I'm gonna use the, before I do that, I'm gonna add in uh, a variable. Uh, and the reason I'm gonna do that is just that when I pass in the CSV data, I want to assure that that data is always in a string format. It will be, but it's just, as we go through, it'll be explicit, that's a variable, it's of type string. I'm gonna call it CSV data, and the value I'm gonna set it to is the value that's coming from the trigger, which is CSV data. Now you could argue it's an unnecessary step. I'm just doing it to be explicit that the CSV data is a string. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna um, add a convert Excel and we'll first deal with file. So we're gonna do convert Excel from the encoding connector. We could have just gone straight there, couldn't I? Uh, convert Excel and I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna set the output format to XLSX, you can see here there's lots of different formats I could convert to, so I could get a PDF, an image, or whatever it might be. But we'll just choose XLSX, and I need to set some properties on the action. So the file name is the first thing to set. I'm gonna call it file.csv. It's important to put the extension in because we'll use that to verify the file format of the file content is the same, it matches the extension. Um, and I can simply pass in the file content. So in this scenario, we're selecting a CSV file, we're passing it to convert Excel, and then we're gonna add the file to OneDrive. So let's just do create file, apologies. Uh, I'm gonna select a path, so we'll just put it into our demonstrations folder. Select a file name, which we can take the file name property from convert Excel. So we've passed in file.csv, so it'll come out as file.xlsx. And then we can pass the file content coming from um, convert Excel. So that will be an X, uh, the CSV file converted to XLSX format. In the same flow, what we'll do is we'll now deal with the data. So I'm gonna do, uh, we'll copy that to clipboard and we can reuse it. Here we go. And we'll just rename that to data. Um, let's just reset this. We've, yeah, we'll keep H, sorry. We're gonna go to XLSX format again. And what we'll set here this time is we're gonna get, um, we don't need to, file CSV is fine because we're saying it's CSV data. I just put it as data CSV, so the file that comes out will be data.xlsx. We're not gonna pass the file, so a base 60, 64 encoded file, we're gonna pass the CSV data, so string data directly into file content. And what's gonna happen there is that Power Automate behind the scenes knows, well, hold on a minute, file content is a file and I'm expecting base64 data or a binary file that's been base64 encoded. So behind the scenes, you won't see it on the input, interestingly, but behind the scenes, it is transposing that data into a base64 format before it hits the encoding endpoint for processing. So Power Automate's then gonna do some clever stuff for you, albeit you won't be able to see it. Now, again, I'm just gonna do create file, and I'll go there. Uh, we'll call that data, so we know this is the data one. Again, we'll put it into demonstration folder. And then we can select the file name from convert Excel data and the file content. Perfect. So let me just save that. And we're good to test. So we'll test it manually. And we're gonna select a file and we're gonna pass in the CSV data. So select it, we've selected the file and now we're gonna pass in the CSV data. Oh, apologies. And then we can run the flow. And that should run through really quickly for us. Yep, zero, zero, zero. Now what we will see in OneDrive, and I can copy this over for you so you can see, 
is that those files have been created. I won't open them up in this example, but you can see there, there's data.xlsx and file.xlsx, and they are gonna be exactly the same files. Now, what I was interested to show you is if you look at the input values, albeit we've sent in a data uh, and a file, so if we look at the trigger action, you can see there's CSV data and there's the CSV file. It's exactly the same, but that there is a base64 encoded version of that because that's a file, that's just text. And we'll see that on the actual actions themselves, the data that's gone in will be, there's the file and there is string data. Now, as I said before, Power Automate's doing some intelligent stuff behind the scenes to make sure the data is sent to the file as a file in the right format. But if you sometimes, and we've seen this in support, there's some scenarios where it doesn't always work. And a good way to make sure that your CSV data is going to be received by the convert action in the right format. Let's say you've handcrafted um, some CSV data by iterating some data from somewhere and building up a string variable. What you can do is you can go into convert Excel here, and rather than just passing the string, what we'll do is we'll use the base64 expression. And what we can do is then wrap the CSV data property in it, click OK, and we can test it again. And this will, this will run exactly the same um, as, as previously. But this time, rather than the text data being sent, we'll be able to see in the inputs that the data itself has gone in pretty much in exactly the same format as the file in fact, it will be exactly the same format, it's the same data. So that's a nice way of saying, right, well, I don't want to rely on Power Automate to do the data processing for me. I'm going to tell Power Automate that I want to take the string value, which is CSV format, I want to pass it as a file for conversion. So it's a good thing to do for explicitness more than anything. So hopefully this um, video gives you a good guide on how you can convert CSV, CSV files and CSV data into XLSX format. As ever, if you have any questions or need some guidance support, you can email us at support at encoding.com or please visit the support portal, which is support.encoding.com.